What's up guys, one year anniversary and it's an exciting time for War of the Visions Global. There's so much new stuff in the game right now with EX jobs, uh, updates to the guild barracks, vision cards, awakening stuff, event quests. But for the sake of time and value, we'll keep this video as short as possible and stick to talking about the value in summon banners and shops for free to play and light spenders. I know we have a ton of new players as well, so welcome to the game if you guys are watching, and I'll make sure to plug in some info and tips for new players as well as we go through the banners and shops. Do that YouTube thing and let's play some Blitzball! So the first thing we're going to do here, go into your presence, you'll notice there's a ton of really awesome stuff in here. Uh, Vizior, Magicite, there's a billion gil in here, so make sure you go in here, claim all this stuff. Um, the one thing I did want to mention is that a billion gil seems like it might be an awful lot, especially to new players where like, gil's so hard to come by, and then you get a billion gil. Uh, there will be summoning banners for gil coming up where you can pick up UR unit shards even for like the current banners. So Cabbage made a video where he was summoning for King Mont and he blew through like, I don't know, a couple hundred million Vizior just summoning shards for King Mont with Gil. So it is a lot of Gil, but just be uh, ready for that to come out when it comes. Next thing is Chocobo Expeditions. It's moved right here. Everybody's gonna wanna go in here, switch it to Xanarkin Ruins, and everyone gets Titus for free in their present box. Make sure you set Titus in here for that unit bonus. Some updates to the guild barracks. We can now farm shards for all of your units. So you click right here on this little arrow button here. You can switch it to shards for your units and you can grab shards for your units now. So we've been talking about this for a long while. A couple of things that I wanna mention here for free to play or light spenders. I kind of like throwing limited units in here simply because there's no other way to get their shards and you can build up their mind spheres ahead of time for a lot of these units. Another thing I wanna mention here is like you'll see Lucia in here. Lucia's EX job is a, a ways off, but you can build up those mind spheres for free. And so if you plan ahead and you put a couple of units that you want EX for ahead of time, you can build up those mind spheres and basically launch their EX job right when it comes out. The last thing I wanna mention is that collab units like Titus. So for all you guys out there that pulled for Yuna and you got Titus for free, Collab units share mind spheres. So if you throw Yuna in here and Titus, you can just collect Final Fantasy X mind spheres at double the rate, at least as long as uh, Titus and Yuna are both at max limit break, that is. So then you can throw them both in here, collect those mind spheres twice as fast, and actually EX Yuna twice as fast, and then you can slow farm Titus after that. Heading over to your hard quests here, there is one thing I wanted to mention for EX jobs and planning ahead for the future. Uh, whether you're free to play, light spender, it doesn't really matter. But again, we can start to get some headway, like I said in the guild barracks, on future units that you want to EX. So if I go here into Lucia's hard quest, even though she's already max limit break, we'll go ahead and sim these. collect those extra and, and we do have the double drops this week as well. So I collect those extra four shards and the one thing you'll notice, click through and I get Lucia Mind Spheres. So you can work ahead of time on these units you want of EX in the future, make some headway on it, really smart thing to do. That way you can basically EX the units you want when their EX launches in the next few months. All right, now for the good stuff, all of these summon banners, you're going to get this free summon every day. You get a lot of different stuff in here and the value of what you get varies wildly. Like, I, I think I've seen people pull up to like 30 or even, I don't know, at least 30 XL Magicite in here, and then you can pull like seven Awakening Prisms or something. So the, the value of what you pull is totally random, but totally varied, but it's a nice freebie that you can pull uh, every day and I'll come back and do this at the end. Same thing, you are guaranteed free 10 times summon. For new players, this is great. It also mitigates your rerolling because you're gonna get a lot of URs here and you'll have a lot of units to choose from. So rerolling, not really that big of a deal for me here in this Final Fantasy X event. I would get started right away. Make sure you're doing all of your once a day summons. You have your collaborative summon on Titus. You'll never touch this banner. Yuna, you probably won't touch this banner. We're gonna talk about that in a second. And that's because of the nine step up. We've talked about the value of these step ups before, but basically you're getting free unit shards on every step so that 2000 Vizior is, you're getting your value back in unit shards. So here's your strategy as free to play or light spenders. Ideally, 
you do this step up and you get Yuna on the step up. If you get Yuna early, I would just go ahead and play this all the way through for as much Vizor as you have. I'd play this all the way through. You're gonna get more Yuna shards and more Titus shards and you get some, get some extra value like these free summons. You get 80 shards here, some of these EX job materials. So you wanna play this all the way through, whether you get Yuna or not. If you're not going for Yuna, um, and you're saving your Vizor for other banners and, and stuff that's coming up, you don't necessarily have to touch this. Again, you can do, we've talked about this before, step one, step two, step three. That's 4,000 Vizor for 30 total summons. Um, hopefully you get Titus shards here and you might pull Yuna here. You very well could pull Yuna. So you could take that chance. I think that's entirely up to you. I don't think it's good or bad value. Actually, it is good value because you're getting the 10 times summon. It just really depends how much Vizor you have and what you're saving up for. If you go through this whole thing and you don't get Yuna, you have a pretty decent chance of getting Yuna. But if you don't, then yeah, you have to come back up here to this Yuna banner and you have to start summoning and hope you get Yuna that way. Okay, moving on, you have this paid banner three time. <laughs> We've talked about these before. I look at this as a paid banner. If this was free Vizor, I'd be like, holy cow, this is awesome. Even if it wasn't 2000, if it was like 6,000 a step, you'd be like, okay, whatever. But if with my paid Vizor, if I was looking at this, all I would see is Rob and Engelbert. That's all I would see. And I would see bait, which means the only way I would pull on this with paid Vizor is if I had my mortgage payment, you know, on time. I had my my car payment in on time. I'd replaced the tires on my car, got new wiper fluid, uh, replaced that crack in the windshield. Then I might think about, okay, I'll, I could throw some paid Vizor at this. No, that's that's the only way I would take this chance on getting Yuna here. Next up, we have the Bahamut step up. This is five steps. So this is not guaranteed as most of you have probably noticed by now, but you do have a double drop rate on step three and you have a triple drop rate on step five with 10 vision cards. So your, your chances are pretty good here. Um, I just wanna throw this out there, free to play light spenders. I have seen as much as 36 to 40,000 visual are spent on this banner before getting Bahamut. We've been talking about the risks of Yuna Bahamut for a long time and the amount of visual that you have to save up for it. So just know that you could get it on step one, step three, step five, or it might take you multiple times going through this step up to pull Bahamut. So just be prepared for that. Next up, we have 10 guaranteed URs for 2000 paid Vizor. As with all of these paid banners, um, I really like the 10 guaranteed URs uh, banners for 2000 paid Vizor. I think especially with the launch of Mind Spheres, pretty much everybody who's a light spender and willing to, to pay 2000 paid Vizor, you should be doing this. Similarly, you should be doing this 10 times UR units, which can be retried once. And then you should be doing the vision card summon as well. Next, we have five UR units guaranteed 10 times summon 2000. This is no brainer for every single player. You should definitely be doing this. Uh, you'll have this 100 UR units shards. This is a thousand total unit shards for 2000. Again, pretty much everybody who's willing to spend a little bit on the game should grab this banner. Um, another no brainer banner for all players, free to play light spender, doesn't matter. 2000 Vizor, 500 unit shards. These will go into mind spheres now instead of just the Mog Shop. So that's really awesome value. This is the 10 times vision cards that we talked about before. If you're willing to spend money, I actually think this is the most valuable of the paid banners because vision cards more valuable than units. You get this five UR vision cards guaranteed, another no brainer. So we're gonna be doing this one as well. And this is awesome because there's a lot of vision cards a lot of players don't have. Then you have the 50 vision card shards. There's so many good paid banners, guys, for this anniversary event. Definitely be picking this up if you're a light spender and you're paying money. And then again, lastly, 250 vision card shards for 2000 free visual. You, you pretty much have to do this. I do want to talk about these EX job release uh, step up summons. Just don't. Um, I, I really don't like this. Uh, you get these branded tablets. You get some stuff to do EX jobs with this, but you have so much visual going in other places right now. Um, I just don't think that this is that that great of a value compared to all the other stuff that's going on, especially if you're trying to get Yuna and Bahamut and all that other stuff. Uh, you have these step up banners for 
these reissues on the Winter Holiday Party card and the Exorcist card. We've covered these before, but if you're going for these cards, vision card step ups that guarantee you the card, always a good value. The last thing I do want to talk about is if you're going to pull on this Una banner, depending on how much vision card or depending on how much visor that you have, I would make sure that you get through all of those 2000 uh, summons for the guaranteed five URs and the shards before you step into this. So if you spend that 8,000 on those other banners and you jump back over here and you have less than 14,000, uh, you probably should just ignore Yuna, but that's entirely up to you. You can maybe claim some of the visual from the events and in the presence box and get back up to 14,000 at some point during this event. You have 41 days on this, so you can definitely get back up here and do this step up if you want Yuna, depending on, it doesn't really matter how much visual you have actually. Um, you'll be able to collect enough to do this entire step up during the course of this event. So this is where I would start after you do all of those free visual summons. All right, moving over to the shop here, Final Fantasy X collaboration shop. This is pretty standard for these collaboration shops. You can spend paid visual to get um, select unit shards for like Yuna or Titus here. You can grab three packs for Yuna shards. You can actually grab five packs for Titus shards. This is pretty cool. Um, one thing I will note, if you max out Titus and you grab these, those go straight into those Final Fantasy X mind spheres. So you can max out Yuna quicker too once she gets to her EX jobs. First anniversary shop, there's a couple of things we want to talk about here. Grab your EX, EXP cubes every single day. JP acquisition pack, this is a no. Esper awakening pack, this is a maybe. I need to look into this a little bit more, but 5,000 visual seems like an awful lot. And I don't know how plentiful these rainbow awakening source stones will be, but 5,000 seems like a lot, especially with the way visual is right now and all the collab events. The equipment, I wanna talk about this for new players, just in case you're coming to the game. Equipment is the number one time sink you'll have in this game, farming multi-quests and doing all that stuff. So none of these are necessary, but they are very nice to save yourself a ton of headache and time grinding in the game. These plus five pieces of equipment can take um, anywhere between eight to 15 hours straight of farming multi-quests. So if you want to shortcut yourself that time, you can just pay the 3000 visual and do that. And there's so many good pieces of equipment here, Mage Masher, Coral Sword, Ice Lance, Rassel Gethy. Um, I think the most valuable one is going to be the Smart Coat. I think this is one of the most valuable pieces of gear in the entire game. If you don't have a Smart Coat plus five, strongly consider picking this up. The last thing we want to look at in this shop is the first anniversary celebration vision card full away, full enhancing pack. And again, this is 20 rainbow spheres for 3000. With how long this event goes, um, this shop's only around for a week. I, I probably would pick this up at some point. We talked about 20 rainbow vision spheres is a lot. It seems to be that it's going to be less and less of a gate as we move into EX jobs but I still think Rainbow Vision Spheres are limited enough that 20 of them for 3,000 Vizure, too good of a value to pass up. First anniversary daily shop. This thing refreshes every single day. This is only for paid players right here. Um, I think these packs are okay if you're trying to like level earth stuff, but I think there's better stuff for paid Vizure, even though these are select tickets. Actually, for, for 365, this is a pretty good value for a select ticket to be able to choose shards for what you want. So if you're a light spender, pick and choose a couple of units maybe if you're looking at these packs i wouldn't just buy all of these i would say oh some of your top units are units um, that you're looking for shards for you could look at this but every single day everybody should come in here and buy the pack for gil there's an extra uh, magic site in here for your espers which is kind of nice last thing first anniversary one visual shop that's right one paid visual for all of these things uh pretty much everybody in the entire game Go take $1 out of your budget and put it into the game so that you can pick all these up. All of these alone are worth one paid visual, let alone all together. So it's six paid visual for all of this, especially this, 10 more rainbow spheres, XP cubes, fragments of thought. This is a no brainer. Everybody find a dollar in your budget, drop it into the game, go through here. Final Fantasy X event medals, you can farm these, pick up the rainbow spheres, rainbow fragments of thought, Make sure you pick up all these. These are basically equivalent to rainbow spheres for your vision cards and then blossoms of paradise. Just pick up as much as you can, almost top down on this shop. 
Guys, this is around for 55 days. We have almost two months to pick up like everything in this shop. So just, just pick up everything you can from the top down and just work your way through that. Summon metals, this is pretty standard. Pick up extra Yuna and Titus shards. I do wanna talk about these first anniversary and vision card medals. They hand out a hundred of these in your present box. I would be spending these for free to play light spenders. If you're trying to maximize the value of these, there's a couple of things. I saw digs going through this right when the store launched. I wanna point out Gilgamesh is the same cost as every other unit. And I also wanna point out that Bahamut is the same cost as every other unit. Um, and if you scroll down here, you can actually find uh, Darth Stern down here as well for one shard as well. So you're getting double value for these premium units because basically, I think this was a mistake by them not making these cost two. Take advantage of that. Get ruined Stern soul spheres or whatever shards soul spheres for either ruin stern gilgamesh or if you pulled bahamut go do that as well you're getting 50 percent off on the premium stuff take the value xvs universe medals this shop continues you can now safely pick up the shards for the units you have maxed out because they'll go to mind spheres not much else to mention there events not too much new here you'll have the standard final fantasy 10 event quest you'll play through like 10 event missions uh, with cool Final Fantasy X themed enemies and, and scenery and stuff like that. So go ahead and go through that. Sprouts Devouring Episode 3. Don't want to spoil that for you. Secret Book Quest. I believe all of these are open now. Yeah, all of them are open this week or maybe the next couple weeks. Yeah, two weeks times two drops. So if you guys are short on books for anything for any of your equipment, here you go. You can farm this endlessly in multis. All right, we'll start off with the one year of gratitude free summon. We'll see what we get here. Um, I think I would like just Magicite or Rainbow Sphere. Um, two HP hammers. Cool. It's free stuff. Can't complain. I've seen better, much better stuff than that. You are guaranteed free summon. I want Ruin Stern. But that's a vision card. Titan. Please tell me this is Titan. Titan's like the Giza of vision cards for me. We might have two here. Perfect. I've been I've been leveling up Frederica's dream. I really want to max out that card. That's that's great. Lots of vision cards. Actually, I'm just gonna skip this. I know this will be an ultra rare, but the rest is trash. Fenrir. Perfect. Good shards. Okay, moving along, we will go down here. We'll do our five UR units guaranteed. Again, looking for Phantom of the Opera Stern. I think he's pretty much a Elsorel and Garvel I don't have. Uh, what else don't I have? Yeah, it's okay. Raldor shards, I'll take those. I got Raldor on one of the free pulls over the last couple weeks. Medina shards. Uh, yes! Got a unit we don't have. Niv Lu. I have Niv Lu maxed out on my alternate account. She is she's so good. Oh, I actually didn't mean to skip that. I didn't mean to skip that and I, we got we got him matrix stern right here that's awesome this was the this was awesome perfect moving on to the vision cards titan titan's like the only thing i really want in the vision cards you are five you are vision cards guaranteed let's go titan i'll take more frederica's dream also really i'll take any vision cards i don't have but Titan's the one that's been painting me for a long time. Okay. Good card. I have that maxed out. Dang it. A waste. That card's terrible. Pretty good card. I don't have a real great pierce attack. I mean, I have Glacella maxed out, but in general, you know, I don't have Kane or... Don't have King. Pretty much all you need for a Pierce comp anymore. Okay, not bad. Got some extra Ramu shards. This was a waste. Not a fantastic pull, but the unit the unit pull definitely made up for it. That's pretty much it, guys. I will do these shard summons, but while I'm doing these shard summons, I do want to talk about the you guys have noticed in the previous videos that I've been saving up rare tickets. And I've talked with uh, my brother MD about this as well. 
I am saving up any tickets right now that the unit pool updates. Rare tickets, uh, guaranteed UR summon tickets, all of those things. I'm saving those up and not using them, even though they'll go to mine spheres. I, with the unit pool updating on those, I kind of want to save those until King Mont, it gets added to that. Because even if it's the slightest chance on a rare ticket to pull King Mont or that vision card, um, I'm going to take it. So anything that you can take, which means I'm not going to be doing uh, my summoning party ticket party thing for a while. Uh, it'll be a few months probably for that. All right, lastly, we have the unit, unit shards. I can find the banner there. Last thing and we'll get out of here. Nice, we got some more, more of the uh, Stern Mind Spheres and Lucia. The rest of these units, I like the, the blue shards, the rest of these units, eh, whatever. Frederica, I'll take that as well. Um, I'm gonna be taking Frederica EX as my first unit. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'm not doing any Final Fantasy X polls myself personally, but we will have another video on that. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys have any questions about everything, and uh, good luck on your polls.